If you type in Steven Crowder, change my mind, seems pretty specific. Yeah. All of the first page video results are from other channels. Not some, all oh. of them. So moving on uh, to YouTube uh, here really quickly. And by the way, before we talk about any of this, please do just bookmark this page. Check in yeah. every day. We do a new video every single day. Just check in every night if you're not a member of Mug Club because a lot of these changes are making it harder for us to reach you, the subscribers, yeah. to reach you, people yeah. who have already chosen to watch this content. So we've uncovered some, some new alarming information about the YouTube policy changes over the last few weeks. And we knew that leading up to the 2020 election, big tech, they were going to try and sway things yeah. for Democrats. This comes from leaked videos, memos, uh, whistleblowers. They all showed us that Silicon Valley was devastated by Trump's win, yeah. and they were openly determined to not let it happen again. I certainly find this election uh, deeply offensive, and I know many of you Aww. do too. Poor um, that's too bad. And, oh and I think it's a very stressful time. Uh, and it uh, conflicts with many of our values. And what they're really saying about fairness is that they have to manipulate their search results so that it gives them their Caitlyn Jenner, I think. agenda <laughs> that they want. And then she, she ran over a school of small children. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, how is, by the way, a democratic election offensive? I get yeah. you could yeah. say, like, when Barack Obama was yeah. elected, it, I was like, okay, well, it's not my guy, but it wasn't like, that is offensive. Right. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, he didn't walk up, like, he, he didn't try to pork my mom. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> no Are idea. you sure? I have no idea. <laughs> I think you should. Maybe the twerking that. guy. That's just it a was. rumor. <laughs> That's just a rumor, and I don't. It's a joke. I don't stand by it at all. He, I know he's completely straight, you along stand with Brian by Stelter. It. Uh, and back during the Vox Apocalypse days, we, we we talked about this. We warned that YouTube would be seeking censorship, yeah. not just demonetization or banning, which everyone can see, but uh, more more pervasive, less noticeable ways. Bringing awareness. Or at least if you're not already aware, you need to make yourself aware and then bringing as much awareness as possible uh, as you can to as many people as possible yeah. to the most subversive form of censorship, the invisible censorship yeah. that occurs. It's just muffled so that it can essentially cut your views in half yeah. or down to 10. It's an invisible rule, invisible punishment of that rule. I think we're going to see more of this kind of censorship <laughs> because it goes unnoticed. I deny Therefore, it. it has less possibility of bad publicity for YouTube. So I just tossed good to a clip of myself. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like, meta. it's like the inception of low budget late night. <laughs> <laughs> and I really do Listen realize how me low budget it on is me. when I see that horrible <laughs> <laughs> And then I see that Lily Singh makes oh, more on her salary oh. than our entire budget oh, with a fraction of the viewership. Oh. So but unfunny. she's brown and bi, so, so good unfunny. for you. Wow. Beautiful and brave. <laughs> I just wish you did an open mic first. So, a couple of points here. Um, just a little bit. Uh, let me kind of, uh, this is hard because people who don't necessarily work in the industry often hear the cry from conservatives, and, and we've talked about this half-Asian bill, they're often overblown. Right. Yeah. You can't just talk about what you want YouTube to be. You need to hold their feet to the fire of what they claim YouTube is. Right. YouTube, they've said that they are going to make it easier uh, for people to find content from verified channels. Okay, that, mm -hmm. that was the most recent rollout. They've done the exact opposite. Yeah. This is alarming because it can happen to anyone. This is how a normal YouTube search works. Okay, let me walk you through this. Let's say you search for Jenna Marbles. Yes. Okay? Her video pops up, and it's the, these are the first results yeah. All the videos are from her channel. But right now, and this may change if you're watching this, unless you have a time machine, right? Because <laughs> yeah. videos go up forever. Right now, at the moment of this taping, if you search Steven Crowder, our channel may pop up, but we're blacklisted from the video results. The first video result from this channel is almost 70 videos in. That's wow. multiple pages of results. If you type in my name and the name of this channel, let's get a little more specific. You can say, well, I don't know. Maybe you guys suck at SEO. Fair. <laughs> let's say you want, and this is how we found out because uh, one of our researchers, Reg, was trying to tell a friend, oh, yeah, if you want to watch the channel, just search Stephen Crowder, change my mind. It'll pop right up. Well, we did a little <laughs> experiment. Hmm. If you type in Stephen Crowder, change my mind, seems pretty specific. Yeah. All of the first page video results are from other channels. Not some, all well, of them. With fewer views, by the way. With fewer yeah. views. Way fewer views. And it's not just, and some of them are taking you to, uh, to uh, like local CBS affiliates. Yeah. <laughs> like, we want to hear like, uh, what Schenectady had to say, and here are a couple of students. <laughs> I don't like it. Back to you, Bill. <laughs> 
It's intrepid reporting. You know what's, what's, what's interesting about that is the the idea that when you go through and do the searches, I mean, I, I you know, on YouTube every day and kind of looking through those things and monitoring them, and no matter what you search from, no matter what browser, whether you've cleared your cookies, whether you're on someone else's phone or their device, yeah. I've tested it I on many cookies. devices and having many people do it, and it all comes up the same. You're going to yeah. constantly, the, the Crowder videos and the Shows videos are constantly going to the bottom of the search results, right. anywhere from 10 to 100 before you get to an actual Steven yeah. Crowder channel yeah. video. And by the way, this isn't just, a, that's what we've talked about, the blacklist, the 2020 uh, election results. We want yeah. you to understand that it's about more than just us. But that being said, and I don't ever want to sound braggadocious, I'm inc incredibly humbled and grateful. This is the biggest conservative channel that's ever existed on YouTube. And they declared that we had never violated policies. Right, okay? So yeah. that's where we stand. If the biggest conservative channel that's ever existed that never violated policies, according to YouTube CEO, Susan Wojcicki, can be throttled this way, they can do it to anyone. What do you think they'll do to smaller channels when they think that you're not looking? By the way, we ran some other searches. This is why we want you to aggregate more for us. Uh, live Action has the same thing. Paul Joseph yeah. Watson, who will be on next, has the same problem. Lauren Chen, Breitbart News, same issue. Yeah. What's the effect? What's the net effect? Our weekly views and subscribership gains have dropped dramatically. Dramatically. Here, you can see this here, yeah. Um, oh, here, wow, here's yeah. the thing, though, that's important to note, because I know a lot of people say, well, you're just pissed that people don't want to tune into your channel anymore. And that's valid. Sometimes people just get, you know, get sure. tired. The thing is, you are not tuning out. You guys have still been subscribed. You've been bookmarking the page, checking in every day. Here's the number that matters. All of the videos, on, on a per video basis, the views are still growing. Yeah. Yeah. We have more people watching yeah. individual videos than ever before. We're getting 10 to 20 times as many views as the Young Turks or Seth Meyers on a per <laughs> video nice. pound for pound basis. The only thing that's gone down are the views and organic subscriptions from search. So this is what's happened. Yes, we have more people. Our videos are averaging close to a million, which yeah. is insane considering our subscribers. Thank yeah. you so much it's for really being cool. engaged. Absolutely. We really appreciate it. Bookmark yeah. the page. But think about that for a second. We only eat what we've already killed and gained ourselves. Yeah. We can get no new fans. We can get yeah. no new eyeballs on our content through organic search because of the blacklisting. They can do that if they want, but it's the opposite of what they said they were going to do. They held a press conference right. to say it was going to be the opposite of this. Yeah. We're verified. Yeah. They direct people away from us. Right. And it's so and it's so obvious. Whenever I go and search for Steven Crowder anything, I'm not looking for John in his basement commenting on a video that you did that has 56 views. There's no logical yeah. reason that your stuff shouldn't come up, especially with the number of views. Like if we had a thousand views on our videos, which we don't, okay, fine, maybe it gets lost in the wash. Maybe we're like everybody else. That's not the case. There's right. no explanation for it at all other than them wanting your and, content. And we're going to get in some more kind of legal developments here with yeah. we'll bring them into the we'll bring them into the guest chair so if you're yeah. more special. Oh wow. Uh, here's Upgrade. something else I've that's never important. been in the guest chair. It, this isn't it's not <laughs> whether there are rules. And by the way, the rules aren't followed at all. But the rules are not applied equally. Right. We've talked about them on this show. It's not whether a country ha has rule of law. It's whether the rule of law is applied equally, justice is applied equally. Right. Yeah. We've searched similar left wing channels. Hmm. Nothing like it. Young Turks can celebrate Dan Crenshaw's eye getting blown out and apparently I f by terrorist heroes uh, oh, with uh, yeah. IEDs. This is from Act. These are word for word from word, the Young Turks. Just a quote. I don't want them banned. I don't want them throttled, by no. the way. And when you search, you only get videos from their channel right now. Jeez. Same thing if you search other leftist late night shows. You only get results from their yeah. channel. Something Weird else, how that this will affect everybody. Um, these changes by themselves may not seem so drastic, but when you add it all up and you go through the history that we've had with YouTube specifically, yeah. we just have more data than most people. We want to make you aware. It, it does get to be pretty sinister. There are no more live subscriber counts, yeah. no. right? So Susan Wojcicki, she's, she's always saying that the company has been striving, again, not what we want from YouTube, what they claim that they're striving for more transparency on the platform. We try to be really transparent with our community, with our guidelines. We do get the request for transparency, and we're, we are working to continue to be more transparent and explain um, <laughs> working. why That's comedy. a violation of our policies or not. It's an opposite we're we're going to have to change that clip because, to be fair, that was just her up-talking about Jeffrey Tambor's latest season. <laughs> fair point. Wait, you know. <laughs> what? I, I, I love how she the carefully worded there. We're working right. on it. We're working yeah. on it. We're working yeah. on it. We're Nothing you can hold them it. to, right? Yeah. Nothing um, you can hold them accountable. You know, you know I, 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 I know, though, because in case they may have forgotten it got deprioritized, you know, the you know the tens or hundreds of emails and communications we've sent saying, all, all we need you to do is just tell us, just 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 kind of roughly point in the direction of what we've done wrong. <laughs> right. Just and essentially, general area. Essentially what they've said is, like, there's something wrong. 
<laughs> well, no, they said there's nothing wrong, but p- some people think there is, so no. you can make no more money. <laughs> well, you know, what's, what, what's become interesting is the demonetization has become the trumpet, right? The, now yeah. they have said, oh, well, look, we, we've taken action. Um, even though we went back and re-reviewed, we said there was no violation, but then everyone was really upset, so we went ahead and reinterpreted the rules right. so that we could do some kind of punishment, and now, look, we've done the punishment, and that's all we've done. Well, but yet, behind the scenes... This is the issue, right? This Listen, is the part. We've been demonetized. Please, yeah, I would say subscribe at the notification bell. Join up at Mug Club if you want the show to not go away. This is the only thing that we have right yeah. now. Mug Club and a couple of sponsors every now and then. Um, but bookmark the page and check it every day because notifications don't always work. Nope. Okay? It could go away. There's a lot that's happening behind the scenes beyond demonetization. Uh, borderline material, they've never defined it. It's right, an invisible yeah. rule yeah. with invisible punishment. Yeah. But YouTube, they've now made the platform even less transparent with no more live subscriber count. Look at this. Right now, why would they do this? Why would they make it less transparent? Because they want to make it more difficult to see how this blacklisting and shadow banning is having an effect. So they said we want to direct people to verified channels. We can tell you objectively they're doing the opposite, and they've removed the ability for not just you publicly. I think a lot of you assume that we have some tools that we don't. We can't see whether you're subscribing. Mm. Yeah. We can't see what's happening with our subscribers, how long you're staying. They've made it harder. That's incredible. So uh, they're becoming essentially some of the worst propagandist machines that we've seen throughout history. And they're doing it under the guise of, we're for you, we're for the community, we're for helping everybody out. But this is just propaganda. What if it was the other way around? What if only right-wing content was going on? Right. And that was it, and left wing was being muted. And, and here's something else that's really uh, unnerving for me. We don't know what it's going to be yet, but there's an incoming new harassment policy. They're planning yeah. uh, in response, by the way, to the Vox Adpocalypse. Jeez. So I'm sorry that this happened to the rest of you. <laughs> we weren't looking for the Adpocalypse. Nope. They drew first blood, not me. But <laughs> this comes from CNBC. Yeah. yeah. Right? It says, the new update comes just after Vox journalist Carlos Maza, beautiful and brave, former, that's beautiful, me adding, beautiful beautiful and brave. Uh, <laughs> spoke out in May about harassment he said he experienced on the platform at the hands of conservative commentator Stephen Crowder. After flip-flopping wow. on his policy, YouTube ultimately has said days later that it would take a hard look at our harassment policies with an aim to update them. Okay, so what constitutes harassment? Hmm. And I know, why yeah. don't you sit down with your biggest conservative channel, let us know exactly. We just, yeah. we were reached out to by a guy named Brandon. 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 We've talk, you've spoken with Susan Wojcicki in the top brass at YouTube. I mean, we've, Have you we've ever had, met Brandon? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm Brandon trying to on the think case. of a gentleman named Brandon, and no, he, he would be yet another person who I'm sure will tell us, yes, something's happening, and don't yeah. worry, we'll get you the information, but we just don't have enough people working here, and we don't right. have enough skill to pull the data Put Brandon that you're on. asking. We don't have enough <laughs> people to be put on the biggest controversy of the year as it relates to content guidelines yeah. and the number one conservative channel <laughs> so, so we've ever means- had. So, you know, yeah. you're just, you're on the back burner. Here's Brandon. Well, what does he know? <laughs> Brandon, tell them. I don't know. I'm an intern. What do I know? <laughs> um, this, w- w- make it clear. Publish the guidelines. Yeah. And we'll play ball. Listen, if YouTube, if you're, if you're a publisher, you're not a private, but you're not an open platform, then make it clear what you'll publish. Yeah. That's what we just want to understand your rules so we know how to play by them. We can put the more controversial content, like, I don't know, criticizing anyone on the LGBTQ movement. <laughs> yeah. We can put yeah. that behind Mug Club and make sure that it's just vanilla milk toast here on YouTube. But you've said you don't want that right. because you're an open platform. Yeah. Let us know. And then we know how we can move forward. And let's find common ground. That's what yeah. we're looking for. And by, by the you know what? Let's move uh, half Asian lawyer yeah, Bill Richmond. Let's move him over here so that we right. can talk come about in. the legal action. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Saunter on over. And they're just keeping it an ever moving target, right? So yeah. It just makes it so much easier for them to hem and haw and say, oh, we're just going to kind of go with the wind here and make it an ever moving target so there's no actual policy. Right. So half, you know, half Asian lawyer yeah, Bill Richmond. Thank you. Yeah. Wonderful yeah. sponsor, Walter, Walter, by away. the way. Everyone out there, try the Walther. I just don't want it aimed at my half Asian lawyer's scrotum and testicles crutch. <laughs> Um, Small as they may be. For, for the inside baseball, what, what is it that we need to do? What actions are we, we going to be taking? Because it's, it's reached beyond the point of just complaining. Well, the, it, you know, it's, what's, what's amazing about this is that every time we think, you know, certainly this is the dumbest move that YouTube is going to make or this is the last action they're going to take behind the curtain or to, you know, take invisible action behind to do something, especially considering the missteps from the Vox adpocalypse, 
they continue to do more. And some of the most recent things that you've seen and that we talked about just now are, you know, the, the changes behind the scenes that are only affecting not only Louder with Crowder, but are affecting a whole slew of conservative voices yeah. as opposed to leftist voices. And when we have reached out continuously, we haven't seen anything, haven't gotten that information. And so the next steps are going to evolve a, a kind of multifaceted. One, we already know that there's an existing lawsuit that's been going on from leftist groups, and specifically LGBT groups. And, you right. know, for those who may be watching who, who are concerned about, well, you know, hey, you know what? I actually don't care if you get throttled. Don't think about it of just this view. Think about it if yeah. anyone can throttle any political The problem views. with the LGBTQ lawsuit is they want an injunction so that YouTube yeah. cannot throttle them, but they also want YouTube to have more strict policies regarding hate speech to create a more safe, exactly. safe space. Well, so throttle like, everybody we else. We want you to, to <laughs> throttle them, yeah. just not us. Hit. <laughs> and that's the, that's the crazy part about their their lawsuit is the inconsistency there. Yeah. Again, don't ban us, but make sure to ban other people. But the one part that they do get right and that they go after YouTube for is the inconsistency and the lack of clarity about what the policies right. are time and time again. So we're going to take some action there, decide the right time to be able to you know, jump into the fray on that side and go to the part that really is an important point because it does affect everyone, any political view whatsoever. Well, I think more important than just political views, people need to understand you. YouTube is the central business model for a lot of content creators. Yeah. Right. Let's remove politics from it. This is how many people make a living. And yeah. if you don't make a living yeah. directly on the monetization on YouTube, you use YouTube as an avenue to reach people. Yeah, jumping and off point. The biggest, biggest expense this company has ever had outside of employee costs has been running advertising on YouTube mm -hmm. right. for a long time. They courted us and said yeah. they created the advertising campaigns. Millions of dollars. And, yeah. th and that's what's crazy is that, you know, folks will always say, well, you could just go to a different platform. You could just do something different. But they forget that all of the creators, especially Louder with Crowder, have spent in, in, you know, innumerable hours learning the system, working on it over the years, building a subscriber base. They can't just follow anywhere else. And by the way, flying out at their yep. dime, flying out to YouTube conference. This is important for you to know. Half Asian Bill Richman went out with, to a conf and spoke with Susan Wojcicki. Before that, I went out and spoke with their top legal. We spoke with their, their people in charge of N content numerous marketing. Numerous folks in their legal department. They invited us. And when we were there, a constant conversation was, what are the, what are the guidelines? What, what, what are, we, are we violating anything? No, 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 not at all. We want diverse voices. Then when we leave the conferences, we see a different story playing out. And policies change without us knowing. Exactly. And, and it's either, it's either their, their story is either going to be, we've been doing this deliberately or it's going to be, we just didn't know what was happening. And that may be kind of the right. reminiscent wow. of the Facebook yeah. battle that actually brought us together that, that, you know, the idea that, oh, well, it's just some rogue employees put a policy together that blacklisted a few conservative voices and was going Oops. on for years and no, nobody knew about it up top, Oopsie. but we're real sorry right. about it. <laughs> but you did just, we, we are going to be taking action here. So, yeah. yes. So some of the action is, of course, you know, we can you only talk want, to yeah, a certain extent about right, what that yeah, is, yeah. but there's multifaceted. It's not just action we'll take directly, but the thing that you did in the call to action to be able to say, hey, you know, pull up the examples. Your own favorite conservative channels, your second favorite beyond Loud yeah, Crowder. please do. You, if you want to help them and you want to help us, you want to help anyone who has a political view, whether it's conservative or otherwise, to force YouTube. Yeah. And here's the thing is we know they're listening. Remember back to the Vox apocalypse. Within a day, even less than a day right. of he who shall not be named, who's beautiful and brave, <laughs> brave. posted yes. about a complaint. Just a mere complaint. We wonder Lots how of many millions skin. of complaints they get. And they knew that that happened, and they immediately took action, worked all weekend to review all your videos. And now we get, we get a reach out, again, who this person is and what they're actually going to yeah, do. Yeah, it's just no because idea. they did a cell phone video that hit a million plays. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's so sad. And listen, it saddens me that... that I mean, I'm grateful that we have this platform, right. but I think of people where, where I was maybe six years ago, you know, yeah. just trying to grind it out. You guys aren't gonna be able to make enough of a stink with the view count for YouTube to answer. I have a lawyer on retainer. You're very expensive, by the way. We're I gonna am. have to stop that wing in the new beach yep. house. Um, <laughs> We have a lawyer and retainer, and he can't get return calls. What yeah. gets a point of contact is me putting a cell phone video out and you guys sending in screenshots. So please keep doing it. Then, then I guess we'll, we'll try and talk with Br Brendan. Brandon? Brandon, not Brendan. Brandon. I don't know Brandon. who you are, Brandon. <laughs> well, here's, and here's I don't know. It's nothing personal. I want to talk to the manager. 
<laughs> Give me the manager. My name is Karen. Yeah, so the the idea that we, that they're not listening or they're unable to respond or be able to do anything is crazy. But what they do respond to is think about all the comments that the folks have put onto you know the videos and onto tweets that have been able to have. And not only that, the folks who continually and repeatedly say, you know what, this is the moment that I've joined Mug Club, yeah. and then yeah. they post about joining Mug Club. You're right. directly yeah. if they're not going to listen to following their own guidelines. If they're if YouTube isn't going to listen to just being intellectually honest, right. they're definitely going to listen when you hit their pocketbook and let them know that they're going to have to go to a different place where they know they can get the content. Well, thank you very much, uh, Half Asian Builders, and just so you know, we are going to be taking legal action. We can't talk about yeah. it a ton right now because with something like this, and I see a lot of conservative lawsuits where they just file them, file them, file We're not litigious people. It's, it's bet once and bet right. Yeah. And so the more information you can provide to us, we really appreciate it. This is something else to keep in mind. They're not only trying to alter the results of the 2020 election, which they've openly expressed. This is, this is YouTube also being upset about Generation Z being more conservative than other generations, in part because of social media. And I don't mean not all Generation Z folks are uh, conservatives. That's not what I'm saying. Right. But if you compare them at this stage in their life to baby boomers, to Gen Xers, they are more conservative. And a big part of that is because of social media. You look at First Amendment, you look at Second Amendment issues, uh, you look at neo-feminist issues. This is because the left is overreached and now they have access to the information. So, by the way, Silicon Valley calls this radicalization. Yeah. What do they consider radicalization? That's why we're radicalizing the youth, apparently, along with Philip <laughs> DeFranco, if you look at that New York yeah. Times yeah. article. Mm. Radicalization is apparently using someone's biologically correct pronouns. Yeah. Big tech wants to change an entire worldview of a generation. That's why they don't want you to see change my mind. And here's the thing, if, if you can think of anything more benign, when people go out and preach, hey, let's find common ground. Let's stop the shouting matches. Let's stop the cable news hyper edits where we're just looking to score points. If you can think anything that crystallizes that more effectively than change my mind completely unedited on a campus with students who are there of their own volition, you let me know. Because if that's, if change my mind is considered radicalization to the point that YouTube is going to try and ghost it from search results, well, you know what? I guess I'm the radicalizer of the youth and I'll wear that title proudly. Hey there, YouTube viewer, you know the drill. Just click one of these other videos in a box playing up here. And I mean, there's an actual box. I don't, of course, mean that in the feminine, it's a slur, but that, of course, I don't mean box because men can have boxes too. And I don't mean to say box. I just, that men can, there's like a DC outlet and an AC outlet and they can be either one that they choose depending on the electrical current or the charge of ions, I think.